In this video, we'll look at how to manage orders in Shopify. Your orders can be accessed from orders on the left-hand menu. There are three subsections, orders, that is your live orders, both fulfilled and unfulfilled. Drafts are orders which have been created but not yet paid. So for example, the order has been created and an invoice request has been sent to the customer. And then you've got abandoned checkouts. These are customers that have gone to the checkout, have entered their email, have added items to the cart, but have not actually gone through to payment. You can send a cart reminder email to these customers, which will have a very good conversion rate. And you simply need to click chart recovery email to the email address they gave, and then you can add a custom message and the subject is already complete your purchase. There's a template for cart reminder emails, which is edited in notifications. Here we can see the email which will be sent out to the customer. From the order screen, we will see a list of your orders which are paid, both fulfilled and unfulfilled. At the top here are some stats on your products. You can see the number of orders, number of items within those orders, returns, and the number of fulfilled orders. In order to organize your orders, you may wish to add tags, which you can then filter for under more filters, tags. And you can also archive orders when they have been completed. So here we have the option to archive an order that will then not show up under the open order list, but will show up under all orders. There are many different filtering options on this screen. I won't go through them all, but I will pick out some useful ones. If, for example, you want to fulfill items, it might be a good idea to select items which are unfulfilled. You'll then have a list of unfulfilled items which you can work your way through. Once you've fulfilled your items, you may wish to archive your items so they don't appear in the open order search. If we click more filters here on the side, we could look at items again, the fulfillment status, and we can also look at chargeback and risk level. Chargebacks is when a customer disputes a transaction with the credit card provider, and you can here see the status of the chargeback. And risk level is the fraud risk as calculated by Shopify. Before dispatching orders, it is a good idea to check the risk level in an order. Low is generally okay. Medium probably means more investigation, and high probably means that you should cancel the order. Using the Save View button, you can save a view for future use. So for example, every day, you might want to send unfulfilled items, which are paid and are open and have a risk level of low. Save that view so you could just quickly filter for those items. So if we save a view, let's call it ready to ship. And that view will then appear at the top here and you can just click on it and you'll be able to see your orders which you want to ship that day. Orders will automatically come into the system from connected sales channels. Alternatively, to create a manual order, you can click on Create Order. The first thing to do is search for products. So I'm going to select one of my daughter's soaps here. On soap, you can change the quantity and it's got the price. We should then assign a customer to the product. Let's assign this customer. If the customer pays tax, then tax will be applied here. It'll have their shipping address, contact information. You can either send an invoice, at which point they will appear in drafts, or you can collect a payment. You can ring the customer and get their credit card details, or you can mark the item as paid. If we mark this item as paid, you will basically mark it as receiving payment outside Shopify. That will then create the order, and it will appear in the list of orders. Here, this order, and it's marked as unfulfilled. Marking items as fulfilled and printing shipping labels can either be done in bulk or at the order level. If you select more than one order, you can click marked as fulfilled and it will automatically send a notification to the customer if you select that, or you can create shipping labels. Creating shipping labels would use one of the shipping services integrated with Shopify. By default in the UK, Hermes is integrated. To enable you to use Hermes, you need a total weight for the product that will come from the, the product details and you need to select the package size. The package size option are set up in settings and then shipping. Then you can select the options you want. Here we have a drop off and a next day service. If you buy the shipping label, then you can print that from your computer and then take it down to the local shop. If you want to fulfill an order at the order level, similarly, you can click the fulfill item or create the shipping label and you will then go through the same process. To fulfill an order one by one, click on an unfulfilled order and you can click fulfill item. From this point, you can add the details of the carrier using and also a tracking number. If you click to notify the customer, they will get details of the shipment. 
Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com slash blog.